During my senior year at Clemson, a group of classmates and I were developing a shoulder brace, and I thought to myself, what if instead of chasing jobs, we finished out this shoulder brace that we had started? I presented this proposition to my classmates, and immediately Chelsea said, I'm in, let's do it. And we decided from that day forward, we would become medical brace entrepreneurs. 21 years old, I was an entrepreneur, a medical device inventor. I got exactly what I wanted, and I was terrified. I didn't have job experience. We didn't have a finished product. I had no money, no network, no mentors. How in the world was I supposed to start a business from nothing? How could zero ever equal one? So with no experience, no mentors, no network, no money, no product, Chelsea and I set out to see what we were made of. The very first thing we did was talk to anyone who would listen. Every once in a while, someone gave me a clue, a hint of what to do next, a piece of information, a valuable contact. No longer did we feel like students finishing a homework assignment. We were businesswomen starting a company. Our shoulder brace wasn't an arts and crafts project. It was an invention. And in that moment, I realized something so important. While we had no experience and no mentors and no product and no money and no network, we had one good idea, and that was enough to get started. All too often, I meet people with ideas for businesses, ideas for products, and they give me a laundry list of reasons of things they don't have and why they can't start a business. I have no time, I have no money, I have no experience. What I'm here to say is forget all the zeros, because one idea is enough to create one business. And another important ingredient to success is support. If you yourself have an idea, don't let fear hold you back. Don't be distracted by all the zeros because your dream job depends on it.